So you're launching a new WordPress blog and you're wondering what options you have out there when it comes to plugins or extra functionalities that you can build into your website. Well, you've come to the right place. I've been using WordPress and loving it for over five, six years now and built several blogs and websites with it. And I have pretty strong opinions on what constitutes a good WordPress plugin and what is not. But overall, I just love that WordPress offers thousands of free plugins. So I know it's easy to get overwhelmed by the options out there. So in this video, I'm just going to share with you five plugins that you need to install on your WordPress blog. Stick around if you want more blogging video tutorials just like this one, or check out my website, theshiapproach.com for even more blogging tips and tutorials. Before we get started, if you've just launched your WordPress website, you'll see that they'll probably have installed a couple of plugins automatically for you. Out of those, the worst plugin ever that you can have on your WordPress blog is Jetpack. And the functionalities of this plugin are not even necessary, or you can replace it with other more specific plugins that will do a much better job without slowing down your website. Because if you didn't already know this, Jetpack is known to massively impact your page speed in a negative way. So the first thing I would do is go over to your WordPress dashboard, find Jetpack and uninstall and delete it immediately. I promise it's not going to mess up anything that you've already done or built on your WordPress website so far, but it will give you that clean slate that you need before you start adding other plugins. But without any further ado, let's get started. The first plugin that you will need on your website is a backup plugin. This will obviously back up your website. So you always have a version of it stored somewhere safely in case you ever need to recover it. It's super helpful in case you get hacked and everything goes missing overnight. Or if you're doing active changes to your website and you mess a setting up, you change it and you don't know how to get back to it. When it comes to backup plugins, I personally love and use Updraft Plus. It's a free plugin or at least I use the free version and it's more than enough. And you can not only schedule backups. So if you want a backup of your website saved automatically every single day or week or month, you can set that up, but you can trigger manual backups as well well as restore backups from the past. Super easy and it saved me a couple of times. The next plugin that you want on your WordPress website is a security plugin. I recommend WordFence. Again, their free version does more than enough and this will block any hackers or malicious attempts on your website. Keep in mind that even if you have a good blog host that is also meant to back up your website and provide that security, you want that extra layer of security added to your WordPress blog and to avoid getting your website hacked or in trouble, make sure to always update your plugins regularly. So if they release any new updates, make sure to always click the update now link in them. Otherwise, these are perfect cracks for hackers to get in. I always get notified by WordFence when somebody tries to log in, whether they're pretending to be an admin or trying to kind of use brute force to get in my website. And then I'm able to actually block IPs for life. So if if I see somebody trying to log in with an email address that isn't mine, pretending to be an admin or anything like that, I can go in and make sure they don't have access to my blog anymore. Besides these two essential plugins, you also might want to consider getting an anti-spam plugin. When you launch your WordPress blog and it's live, you will get inundated by spam comments. I don't know how they know. It's like they have a database of all the blogs that have just launched. And for months and months, you will get harassed with super spammy comments with spammy links. And just some of them are just plain right obscene. The plugin that I use for this is called Askimet. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And you're able to pretty much install it and they will filter out those comments for you. So if anything flags the spam, they'll automatically delete it or just keep it for moderation so they don't actually get posted onto your blog. Because the worst thing that could happen is these spam comments go live. Somebody comes across your blog, they think, oh, what a lovely blog. And they go, they see the comment section and they think the whole website is spammy just because of the comment section. Again, another free plugin. Gotta love WordPress. The fourth plugin that you will want to install for your WordPress website is an image optimizing plugin. Basically, once you start publishing blog posts or uploading images to your WordPress site, it's going to start impacting the speed of your blog because it has to load those images for viewers. Now, obviously you can 
can use less images, but that's just now fun, especially when you're trying to create engaging content and photos are such a big part of it. And by the time you have a hundred something blog posts live, you're going to have so many images there. So you want to get this installed from the start, but there are a couple of plugins such as short pixel that would also look at images already uploaded to your website and create an optimized version of them. So they basically take the image and without impacting any of the quality of the image, they will resize it to make it smaller and easier to load for the little robots. This plugin was recommended by several tech guys that I've worked with when it came to WordPress. So they definitely know their stuff and how good this plugin can be for your overall site speed and efficiency. The fifth plugin that I recommend and that pretty much every blogger needs to have is a social sharing plugin. These plugins create social sharing buttons duh, that you can add to every blog post that you have, making them easily shareable online. There's nothing worse than going onto a website, loving what they have to share, and then finding no buttons to share it anywhere. If you don't make your content super easily shareable online, people are not going to spend their time copy pasting the link, sharing it on a social media, writing a description for you. That's just not going to happen, especially not as a new blogger. So adding those social sharing of buttons in there and making it super easy for them to share it is crucial. I personally love social warfare and I use their pro version just because they're worth it. You can then customize your buttons and how they look, where they're placed in your blog. So you can put them at the beginning of each blog post or at the very end, as well as have that sticky tab that shows so people don't have to scroll up and down again to find the buttons to share it. And they have this extra cool feature where if people click to pin on a specific article and instead of getting shown all the images that are on the page, they're just going to get shown the images that I designate as Pinterest optimized images. I promote my blog on Pinterest quite a lot. So that's one of the things that's important to me. But if you like the look of social warfare, be sure to check it out. I'll drop a link in the comment for all these plugins, but most of them you can just find by just searching for them in the plugin library in WordPress. And if you want to find more plugins that you love, be sure to check out the first link in the description as I have a whole article on my favorite 10 plus WordPress plugins that I recommend and love. And I keep that list updated just to make sure that you're up to snuff with the best plugins out there. I'm going to share with you a couple of other optional plugins. So only install these if you need them and keep that in mind overall for your plugins, only install plugins that you need and that you can't do or can replicate the function of manually, because ideally, if you can do something without a plugin, do it that way, because it's again, going to save loading time and speed on your website. But here are a couple of plugins that are worth it for me. One of them is called pretty links and it allows you to create mask links or redirect links. And I use them to create and share affiliate links that are obviously prettier. Instead of having a really ugly kind of spammy looking affiliate link, I'm able to write it as sheapproach.com slash word of my choice. It makes things super easy and it has saved my butt a couple of times when it comes to affiliate programs and them changing their links. So if you're an affiliate for for a program or brand and they move their affiliate program or change their affiliate links and you had those embedded. For example, I had a couple of those embedded in my Amazon book. I can't really edit that overnight, can I? I can still go in the plugin feature and edit where the link gets redirected. So it's super helpful, especially if you're planning to incorporate affiliate links or you just want short and sweet links that you can share online, such as on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and other places that people can either manually type in or they're going to get more confidence out of seeing the link starting with your blog URL first. Another plugin that you might need is an SEO plugin. Keep in mind that these are not miracle workers. They won't automatically improve the SEO of your website, but they help you understand it better and they give you key places where to post your keywords, for example. There are two SEO plugins that are quite reputable. One of them is Yoast SEO and the other one is Rank Mat. Both are good. And while I have my own SEO checklist at this point that I follow to make sure a blog post is optimized, they do come in handy for a couple of other features such as creating a sitemap or making it easier to edit my meta descriptions. And the last two optional plugins that you can install are an author box plugin that will show your face and a short description under each blog post. And you can use it if you have contributors for your website as well. And then a related post plugin. If you want to make sure that people spend more time on your blog, so by the time they get to the end of a blog post, they will check out another article rather than leaving. Then you can install one of these plugins and they're miracle workers. I love how they look and I love their feature. 
Okay, and I know I said those were the last plugins, but I just remembered one more that you don't want to miss, especially if you're building an affiliate website. And that is an affiliate display box plugin. I use a plugin called Lasso and it's so great. It makes my affiliate links look so organized, so beautiful, so clickable. They've worked great for my pet blog. And especially if you're planning to use Amazon affiliate links, they integrate with them beautifully and that alone is worth the price for me and your goal is to make affiliate income definitely check them out i'll leave a link below to their 14 days free trial totally free to try out and see how it looks on your blog with that being said thank you so much for watching and i hope you found at least one plugin that was helpful to you if you're looking for a specific plugin that does a specific thing leave a comment below and ask me i might know just a plugin for you and as always if you found this helpful and want to support me in creating more videos just like this, be sure to click the like button and subscribe. I am trying to publish videos every single week and those really encourage me to keep going. And before you leave, if you want to learn more about the blogging tools I use, I have a resource library for bloggers where I categorize everything to the dot where you can get access for totally free, snoop around, see what blogging tools I use and love, and you even find a couple of secret discounts in there. I'll see you in the next video.